And then let's bring our hands up, coming into chair pose. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to experiences of a lifetime across the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and for some reason, every time I use the word fitness on this show, people think I'm trying to talk about fitness whole burger in my mouth. But when we came across a unique eatery in Heiko dedicated to food and fitness, well, we decided to throw on our workout shorts and check it off the list. At the northern edge of the hill country, you'll find a town named Heiko that fits into the same category as other hill country hideaways with unique names. What's a good town? Bernie. Oh yeah, Bourne. No, Bernie. Bernie. Oh, yeah, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah. Maynard. Or Burnett. 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 Oh, it's Burnett. No, it's Burnett. It's Burnett. Oh, right. <laughs> Linda McDowell got a crash course on the crazy way we say things in the Lone Star State when she moved from California with her husband Mike back in 2010. What'd you call this place when you moved in here? Hico. <laughs> no, it's Hico. Yeah, see that one makes sense. H-I-Hi. Yeah. Hi, Hi. Hi Hico. Yeah, <laughs> right? They opened Flocka's Fitness and Brews, and it didn't take long for Linda to make an impression. Oh yeah, that crazy kid from California. The Dreads. <laughs> Is that what you're known around the town as? The Dreads? Yeah, the, oh you know, the girl with the Dreads. The Dreads, I don't know. You know, I'm used to it now. She just brought a new flavor to Hako. We are from California, though, but we, we try to keep that, you know, don't tell a lot of people that. Maybe that's because Linda has embraced the Lone Star State way of life. And when it comes to fellow Californians moving to Texas? No, no. <laughs> don't, don't, invite don't invite them. <laughs> You'll be sorry. I think she likes it here. Oh, uh, Linda's super cool. Linda's unique style makes her little eclectic eatery different from the rest, as well as the combination of food, fitness, and frothy beverages. Cafe, beer, beer and wine bar, and, and yoga studio. I know, it goes together. <laughs> beer, wine, and yoga, it goes uh, together. I like the first two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you didn't do Flocka's Fitness and, and uh, Frappes, because then we would have just passed on. Then we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The food blends healthy and delicious together, something we don't see too often. We try to use really high quality ingredients, no yeah. preservatives. It's all just ingredients that you can pronounce and read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what you wanted to do here, is try to keep it as natural as possible. Yeah. Everything from the dressings, the smoked meats, and the salsa are made in-house, giving the food fresh flavor. The tacos are awesome. Their salads are awesome. Tacos are great. The pork tacos. Oh my gosh. No, it's great food. I mean, you get your tacos, your nachos, whatever you really want. They'll make you a pita. Or if you want a banana, you can go up there and get your banana. You don't always need fried food. I mean, fried food definitely has its place, but... <laughs> It doesn't always have to be hamburgers, barbecue, or uh, chicken, chicken fried, fried steak. steak. Right? Throw a salad in there. Yeah. We should probably do an entire season of the Texas Bucket List salad. Yeah, <laughs> mix, a, mix a salad in there. Yeah. It's good for you. And so is exercising, which you'll find at Triple F. Let's come up into a forward fold. So when you got people sitting here drinking a beer, they have to sit here and watch people getting in shape in there doing the yoga? Um. <laughs> We, we usually close the door, not for the sake of the people in here, but for the sake of the people in there. Doing the stretch. So, yeah. <laughs> There's so, nothing more embarrassing than seeing uh, being watched being worked right? out, right? Right, yeah. So we have that sliding, we have a sliding barn door and we just, we close the door. I think it works. <laughs> you get the best of both. You drink the beer, you go work it off, go exercise and then come out and have a drink. A lot of the women here in town do do the exercises up here and, and they all seem to enjoy it. You get you a cold beer, a glass of wine, or some tacos. I'm starting to see why you come. Beautiful women, yoga, and beer. Dang right. Nothing better than going for a yoga class and then coming out and having a nice glass of wine to further relax, right? <laughs> After only a couple weeks, I'm actually kind of sore. So sweating it out with some savory snacks while sipping on some suds sounds like your Shangri-La. You'll want to check Flocka's Fitness and Brews off the Texas bucket list. Or can you sit down, get fat on a cold beer and some nachos and go back here and do some yoga to lose it? It's a little bit different every time, but it's always, it's always fun, it's always amazing. You always feel better leaving this place when you, than when you got here.